Well, we are here today at Silver Moon Antiques, and we are here with Michael, the Cult of Vintage. Uh, he recently started his own YouTube channel before he was strictly on Instagram, but now he is on the YouTubes. So I've included a link to his YouTube channel down below in the description. Go check it out if you have not already. But we're going to head in here today and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Ooh, looky here. What do we have here? $39 blue face. But it's like a swung glass face with a fancy on it. I don't see any discounts. Is it marked? I don't see any markings. Wow, I love that so much. I don't think I've seen one like that before, unfortunately. <laughs> um, I'm just not sure at $39. So I'm going to have to leave that. But it's absolutely beautiful. We've got some carnival glass here. This is just completely iridescent. There is no pattern to it. Iridescence on that is super heavy. Hmm. Almost looks like it would have been on top of something. Well, we were walking by this booth once more after I already got that beautiful Nippon piece out. $55. Nice blanket. It feels like wool. It's like a wool blanket. I do like it. I don't need it though. I don't really need it. I love the colors. I think that's why I'm attracted to it. I'm digging those colors. All right, we're creeping on Michael behind the corner because he's trying to decide on this bowl right here. And I, I am incredibly indecisive. I, I told him that he needs to decide because he needs that bowl. I'm trying to convince him to buy it essentially because he could definitely make some money on that. Look at it. Look at how beautiful it is. That is stunning. It is a pretty one. Look at how controlled the bubbles are, though. How uniform they are. Do you see what I mean? Okay, we'll do it. Okay, I, okay, I... yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, there's a matchy matchy. Cranberry glass basket with handle. A little bit smaller than the one I just bought. 20% off cash or check. So I'm realizing that the discounts only apply if you pay cash or check. Did you notice that? Really? Yeah, that's what they say, yes. No. So you don't get a discount unless you pay cash or check. Oh, good point. Let's go back and look at that. <laughs> oh, cash or check only. Look at that. Well. Do you have an ATM in this I don't know. Well. <laughs> Oh, uh, what is this? This is a Bennington picture with a box. I do kind of like that picture. Um, and we've got this down here. I'm a little bit tempted because we just got the larger basket, but I think I'm going to stick with the larger basket just because I now realize that you only get a discount with paying with cash. And I've only got about $200 of cash on me. And I know that we're probably going to go over that. And so now... If you thought I was being a little bit like picky before, you have no idea. Now I'm gonna be a whole lot picky because I've only got, I think it's less than $200 at this point. <laughs> but uh, I want those, I want them discounts. I was counting on those. I really like this depression glass. I like the shape of it. Kind of makes me think of like a, like a, what am I thinking? Like a honey a scap. $29. Interesting shape. Back here, this is also an interesting lamp. Table lamp, $25. I feel like that's a designer piece. All right, well, we are going to park our cart right here and we are going to head up these stairs. And we're gonna see what is on the second floor. We've got a little bit of Satin glass here, pink Fenton, $35. That's a nice piece of satin glass, but I don't know if I could pay $35 for it. Hmm. 
look at these guys. They look kind of like Laurel Birch. Made in China. Got some wedge wood. Oh my gosh, look what I just found. It's all of the lids. All of them are just here. What? I found all the lids. Oh no. Look. Oh, weird. All of them, they were here the whole time. On one shelf. Yeah, on one shelf. Interesting. Look. <laughs> Oh boy, I guess the whole merch campaign was pointless. <laughs> it was a lie. <laughs> They've been here this whole time. All right, well, we kind of walked down a little ways and there's really not a whole lot. I think that we're gonna head back downstairs and um, see if there's anything we missed down there. And then probably head on down the road. All right, so we were just about to head down the stairs and I spotted this for $10. It is a watercolor. Amish painting, watercolor painting, and it is signed for only 10 bucks. So I think I'll grab that. Look at this, isn't this neat? The aerial view. We get the aerial view from up here. We try not to trip down the stairs. <laughs> not sure how I missed this guy earlier, but this looks like the Shawnee pig. Like I said, we're gonna come down here and see what we missed. It looks like the shiny cookie jar. Hmm. USA. McCoy? Um, a Shawnee. Shawnee? Yeah. Shawnee piggy. Oh, he's got a little bit of a chip there. Oh, he's got a big chip. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> That's such a shame. He's really nice. Not so lucky. Oh, man. 39 is still a really good price for him, though. That is a really good price for him because he sells for quite a bit of money. Um, but he's really nice with his little shamrocks there. Three of the clovers. It's nice for 39. Well, I've noticed these as I was walking by twice. They're these purple opalescent and they are really nice. 23. Actually. I really like this crimped version. It's 23. I'm just not sure at that price point. I feel like we got some good stuff today though. Alright, so here is everything that we got today. Beautiful, beautiful things. I think I'm most excited about this beauty. And I think this is probably the most expensive thing we got today because um yeah, I think that is the most expensive. All right, well, we have moved on now. Well, not really. We are still in the same complex. We are now at Silver Moon Antiques, and what I didn't realize before is that we were actually at the consignment barn, which is behind Silver Moon Antiques. So now that we are at the antique mall, we are going to head in and check out the antique mall. So hopefully there's some more treasures to be had here. Or we're going to see what we can find and we can flip it for a profit. So let's go check it out. Well, the music was a little loud here, but as you can see, I noticed this vase and as soon as I turned it over, it said Gumps on the bottom, which was a little disappointing. I feel like it was pretty modern. I've never heard of Gumps before, but I was not impressed. We've got this piece right here. It was a paperweight and it had a beautiful butterfly on it. They wanted $50 for it. You can see it was signed or marked there by the artist. 
And then I found this and I absolutely loved this set. But what scared me about this is they actually had an eBay printout. $500, no discounts apply. Now they've tallied up the price of these printouts right here to $1,109. And what I'm showing you now is that these are asking prices. They have gone on eBay and printed out asking prices. These are not sold prices. So essentially, this is what someone else is asking for these pieces on eBay and not what they have sold for on eBay. And um, this is always really scary when I walk into an antique mall and you can see Michael's pulled out another eBay printed sheet from a vase. So if you look here, it says buy it now. It's not saying this item is no longer available, which it would say if this item had been sold for that price. So I decided to look it up for myself because if it was worth more than $500, I probably would have spent $500 on the set because I absolutely loved it. I, I thought it was really fun. So you can see here, I have it pulled up on my phone, Sealy Google Eye Girl. Those right there are asking prices. So I go into my phone and I switch it over to sold items here. And when we go over you can see that no exact matches were found. There's one sold listing here. It is a creamer and a sugar. There were nine bids on it and it sold for $26. So that kind of gives me a baseline for how these items sell versus what the printouts are telling me there. Um, so always be really careful when you see these printouts. Um, I'm sure, you know, the seller probably doesn't realize this and it's an honest mistake not to know that these are asking prices and not sold prices but just be wary when you see things like this and investigate on your own i mean that's really all i'm saying is just you know make sure you investigate these things on your own but this this set was really really cool i would have loved to have it and i also loved these i thought that these were really neat and I meant to look these up to see what the comps were on them, and I just got so distracted and kind of overwhelmed. Um, I did decide that I was going to look up these Google-eyed girls on WorthPoint, which is another tool that I use. And you can see here, there are some comps on WorthPoint. Um, this is a paid service that I use, and um, it looks like the google Eye Pixie Girl uh, cookie jar sold for 31 You've got the butter dish for 15 the oil and the vinegar sells for about 75 in 2019 so this again a very good baseline for what I could expect to get for it if I was to purchase but when using worth point it's very important to look at the dates because you want to you want to look at the dates and know that okay well 10 years ago it had a much higher resale value than maybe it does now so there you go that's worth point now we've wandered into the glass land. This is the glass land, and there was some really nice glass pieces here um, that Michael was admiring, and then I just kind of butted in, and I was like, oh, look at all the glass. And <laughs> there was this piece right here, which reminded me of a cone vase that we had recently. And interestingly enough, on this piece, it was marked Fred Wilkerson, which was the same artist who did that paperweight that we saw previously. Um, that one was also marked Wilkerson. So it was interesting to see two pieces that were both marked Wilkerson. I had never heard of Fred Wilkerson before, but that was a nice vase. We've got a Blanco piece there with the original hang tag. And a lot of paperweights and I have been trying to train myself in paperweights I've been trying to learn paperweights um, and the best way to learn them is to look at them and to analyze them and to buy them and sell them and and learn as you go that's my opinion on that anyway um, I loved this one with the butterfly I don't know what to today and butterflies it just seems to be a theme we've also got an owl there though an owl is pretty cool So there's some more glass back here and I'm just kind of breezing through to see if there's anything that really catches my eye. You guys know I'm always on the hunt for Murano. These were nice. They were very thin and fragile. Now I'm going to switch back over to live volume. 
All right, well, it looks like we've stumbled across some art glass here. And also some John Perry uh, art sculptures here. That one in the back actually still has a tag on it, and that is a hammerhead shark. I don't think I've seen the hammerhead shark. Of course, I haven't come across a whole lot of these. Uh, my friend Yvonne Thrifty Rich, she does a lot with these. She actually has a collection of the John Perry sculptures and um, she's got some really cool ones, but I don't think I've seen a hammerhead shark, so that's interesting to see. Let's see what else we've got here. That looks like Murano right there, that clown. It's pretty neat. This seal was from a distance, and I did have my glasses on from a distance. I thought that this seal was Anderson pottery, um, which I've recently sold quite a bit of um, and started collecting myself. So I thought from a distance that this seal was Anderson Pottery. When I got closer, I realized that he is in fact carved wood, not Anderson Pottery. <laughs> um, but he was really cute. He was adorable and he's a Sealands Grove seal. So I don't know if that is their mascot for Sealands Grove, uh, but he was pretty neat. Um, this is a really cute little dish. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to have any tag on it. That's actually not what I was reaching for. I was gonna grab this guy. Um, that's really interesting. I see a lot of these little pictures with the cats on them. A lot of the times they're Czechoslovakia or Japan. I don't think I've ever seen one with the Asian characters on the bottom. Um, unfortunately, again, there's no price tag on that. Um, judging by the other prices on these things, $5, $10, $3, $3. I don't think that it would be a really high price. So I might ask them. And you know what? I really love that this is square. I know that sounds like a really weird reason for buying it, but it's got horses on it. And it's just such a little dainty square dish that I might go ask them if I could purchase these two items. We've also got this little bottle back here. And again, no price on this one. I just like to pick the things that don't have prices on them because I'm, I'm weird like that, I guess. Open sesame. What is this? It's a little trinket dish. It's got a butterfly on the side. And it is $8. All right, so I only ended up buying one item from the second Silver Moon Antiques area only because there were three items I liked, but two of the items were not priced. So I was only able to purchase one of the items. Um, which was unfortunate because I liked the other two. And it said 50% off, but it was only 50% off of the Easter items, which I guess I didn't realize. Um, there was a lot of small print today. The small print was like, everything was like, in small print, cash or check, in small print, only on the Easter items. In small print, lamps or lighting. So you really had to read the small print today. So it's a good thing I got these new glasses. <laughs> Um, but we got some good items. Um, our total spend at the other, the, the consignment barn was, I want to say $113 in cash because I paid part of it in cash so that I could get the discounts. And then it was, um, $98 on the card. So a little over $200 for everything. But, um, on that note, we are going to head around the corner to Lewisburg Antiques and we will see you there tomorrow. <laughs> so long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.